What is up guys, my name is Nick and today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and how to get 100% accuracy or at least better your aim and win most of those gunfights, if not every single gunfight that you do get into. Now this guys is going to be a tutorial, there's going to be a few steps you guys could do and it's going to change the way that you use your controller. It's going to change not your fingers or anything, you don't have to like move your fingers and play like this. You could keep your hand like this but it is going to change the buttons that you use to do certain things and there's going to be other tips as well that, do, that has nothing to do with your controller obviously. But uh, before we get into this guys if we could hit 150 likes that would be amazing i want to start up uh, start up a series where i give you guys better tips and stuff because i've had tip videos in the past but i never made an actual series out of it this time i want to do series like how to get more kills how to do uh, how to do better in call of duty black ops 3 how to have less recoil on your guns and stuff like that and blah 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 so this one is going to be how to aim better guys and let's just get straight into it so a lot of people leave comments on my videos how do you have no recoil when you shoot your guns how are you always on target you're, you're a hacker blah blah, blah. I, i'm not a hacker guys uh one thing i could tell you guys is the first tip the first tip is going to cost you guys money so this is optional you guys don't have to do this one if you don't want to drop like 10 to 20 dollars you do not have to do this whatsoever but the first tip is buying a pair of control freaks i have that orange one on my controller right here i don't know if it's like focusing properly but you guys could see that that's my that's my orange control freak what it does is it, it gives you more options more movement options within the game so it makes you like it, it makes it a lot easier to like aim at something for example let's say i'm shooting at this doorway i don't have to move let's say i'm right here i don't have to go like i don't have to move my joystick like so much i can move it super like not even a centimeter and my controller my guy will start moving in the game so it's really good it's really fine i, I feel like it's perfect control freaks are amazing and a bonus you guys could use my code it's nick for 10 percent off but let's get into the real tips here guys let's do this so the first tip is your sensitivity there's so many people i play with they always tell me that they play with such a high sensitivity and i'm going to tell you guys why a high sensitivity is not good whatsoever so right here let's go into the options they, they always play on like 12 or 14 or 10 and i tell them like why are you playing on such a high sensitivity sensitivity it makes no sense and the, the generic answer that everybody gives me when they play on a high sensitivity is well I could turn on people easier I, I, I look at them right away and I'm like that no because when you do that you're limiting yourself to gunfights where you could turn on people quicker like let, let's say let's say I'm in a gunfight right here with a 12 sensitivity against this mannequin imagine this mannequin had a gun and I'm shooting at him I have my seven sensitivity so I don't have to worry about going off target but let's say I had a 12 sensitivity and I'm running and I stop I'm gonna be like oh no I'm, I'm gonna go crazy like that it's gonna be hard to control and then uh, you only limit yourself to winning gunfights where you have to turn on someone really fast or whatever which is it's honestly horrible you don't want to limit yourself to those type of gunfights so nonetheless I'm just gonna jump out of bounds here quick quickly and I can't go there but uh, nonetheless guys another tip I could give you is definitely changing a few more controls now a lot of people they also play with a uh, this is for those of you on ps4 for those of you on xbox you don't have to worry about this one as much but those of you on ps4 definitely definitely work on this one right here so you go to your controls and you see that your uh, which one is a button layout right here you have this one set to default so you're using your bottom your bottom triggers to aim and shoot you're using these ones to aim and shoot you don't want to do that guys you don't want to do that because these take I, I don't know I don't know the exact numbers but let's just say let's just imagine it takes 0.5 milliseconds longer for your, you to start shooting your weapon when pressing this rather than pressing the top ones so definitely switch it out to flip so you could aim down sights and shoot with the top of buttons you could work really really fast on that and uh, your, your reaction time will just be super super fast whereas if you go like this it takes longer to like aim down and shoot and blah 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 it, it kind of sucks I didn't even mean to use vision pulse right there another thing I want to talk about guys about control freaks quickly is that they really do help me with no recoil so a lot of people tell me i'm a hacker and stuff because my recoil my gun stays perfectly straight so let's just take this dot here for example okay let's say i didn't have my control freak my my recoil would just go up like that it would just be crazy to stay on target but with my control freak i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna start controlling it now i'll lightly control it i could stay perfectly on target just by moving my thumbs a very little which makes you guys wonder why i have like no recoil whatsoever in my guns it's because i'm always in a gunfight i'm always playing around with my thumb even those of you without control freaks you could definitely do that just make sure that you practice it a lot now another tip i could give you these two go together are private match tips so start up a game of private match when you first log on to call of duty start up a game of private match turn off your aim assist and go against as many bots as possible you could go against recruit bots it doesn't matter just turn off aim assist that's the important step and aim at the bots make sure that you're aiming at them you make sure your accuracy is perfect go in for like 10 minutes five minutes whatever it takes you guys and your accuracy will do a lot 
better once you turn aim assist back on and go online now i suggest doing this every day when you log on to play call of duty in order for you guys to raise your kd and stuff like that and uh, the last tip is a private match one as well this is to work on your twitch reaction time so your twitch reaction time how fast you can like sh aim at somebody and start shooting that is one thing you guys definitely have to work on in an arcade shooter like black ops 3 so what i do here is i like to go in newtown aim at that like little plug looking thing right there and then right at this circle right there or this square sorry i don't know why i said circle and what you're going to want to do is you're going to shoot this you're going to turn and you're going to go as fast as you can to aim back at this now i'm really bad because i haven't done this in a few days so my accuracy is honestly horrible but just do that until you get it on point like boom 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 it's just I, I can't do it right now because i haven't done it in days but once you guys do this every day you're gonna see your accuracy and your twitch reaction time is gonna be a lot better so when you get in the game let's say you, you see that mannequin there you're gonna be like, boom and you're gonna shoot him right away like he's not gonna like he's not gonna be able to realize what happened so anyways guys if you enjoyed these tips make sure to let me know down in the comments below smack that like button if you did enjoy it subscribe if you guys are new around here i hope these tips really helped i want to do more like this so uh, guys i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching Peace. <laughs>